All right, time to do a react. This one is so funny. Florida man makes underwater Glock to hunt lionfish. A Bradenton man is taking the hunt for the invasive lionfish to the extreme, and he's using a handgun to shoot the fish underwater. His video is getting a lot of attention tonight. Some of it actually from law enforcement. Yeah, that's pretty dope. <laughs> 10 most dangerous creatures alive today, and they're showing a giant isopod? Okay. Yeah. You got me. You got me. I have to know what this means. Most dangerous creatures alive today, and the thumbnail was a giant isopod? You got me. You baited me in. I gotta know. Some creatures on the planet can lay waste to mounds of humans with a single bite, sting, or any physical contact whatsoever. Okay, none of the animals he's shown could lay waste to multiple humans with a single bite crocodile no snake no they can bite one thing at a time scorpion no walk today we're going to examine some of the most dangerous beings that walk slither swim or fly on this earth today you that's not flying these beings in the wild <laughs> it's also stay swimming far. black mamba they can be up to a scary 14 feet in length though this makes the black mamba Af every time Every single time that they talk about how dangerous an animal is, they show somebody just holding the animal. I don't understand how this is so consistent. I think since I started paying attention to it, it's nearly 100% certainty that every time they've shown or talked about a dangerous animal, they always show it. They've been known to slither up to speeds of 12.5 miles per hour. Yeah, just slithering. But as we That's fine, earlier, I can run 13. The, 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 the dude is just, hello? That dude's just holding it. The, the, the snake just tried to bite him and he's just chilling. I, 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 yes, they should show the snake killing someone. Thank you. Then I might actually be scared of it. Indian red scorpion. They're between five to nine centimeters in length. But as we know... <laughs> he said that's so threatening. What is five to nine centimeters? Is that like this, maybe? I don't really have a good scale of what centimeters convert to in units that I understand, but it's very funny. Just because it's all over India, parts oh, of Pakistan. God. Holy shit. Well, it's even smaller than world. I expected. The red Indian scorpion is I mean, fair enough. You know, it's very venomous. That's fine, but... <laughs> It could fit up his nose. <laughs> Usually they'll stay away from humans. However, if they're threatened or stood on, the red Indian scorpion will strike with its stinger. When a That's person fair. is stung by the scorpion, there is between an 8 to 40% chance of a fatality. That percentage rises with children, those with health conditions, and the elderly. It is such a wide range, 8 to 40%. I mean, it makes sense because people have a lot of different health conditions. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Scorpions are scary. It is funny that he's so small, but like, I guess just wear closed-toed shoes that can't be stabbed through by a scorpion and you're probably fine, right? Because he can't reach your ankle. Belcher's sea snake and inland taipan. They can be found in central eastern Australia. And again, some guy just holding it. Who is this guy? Belcher's wicked wildlife. Like... <laughs> <laughs> Every fucking time. From one of these services, he's just holding his tail, not species. looking at it. This is insane. Portuguese man of war. Okay. It might look like a jellyfish, but the Portuguese man of war is actually a siphonophore. There are species that. <laughs> what? A siphonophore? That can't be right. How to pronounce siphonophore? I imagine he was trying to say siphonophore. Siphonophore. Yep. Siphonophore is a crazy way to say that word. Oh. He's literally reading the Wikipedia article. He might be. He doesn't know science words. They're too big and fancy. Yeah, you might have so a point. So known as Physalia physalis. Their bodies are only 12 but inches But he keeps long. trying with the Latin. He really does. Long, however, their tentacles can be as long as 165 feet. Their tentacles are littered with venom-filled nematocysts. Just one of these tentacles could take out a huge... Do I? Is it worth making fun of nematocysts? I'll just say nematocysts and let it go. Human blue sea slug. The blue sea slug or blue dragon <laughs> is brank. also known as a Glaucus atlanticus. It's a stunning critter to look Not at the worst. found in many of the world's sea. When's he going to mention that they're like an inch long? Due to its color, humans may attempt to pick the sea dragon up. However, this is a bad idea. That person can be stung with more intensity than the man of war. Yeah, don't pick up brightly colored things. Oh god, giant isopod. All right. I really cannot wait. So far, these have been genuinely potentially dangerous animals. I cannot wait to see how the giant isopod, a oversized roly-poly that lives at the bottom of the ocean, uh, an oversized pill bug that lives at the bottom of the ocean could possibly be dangerous. Giant isopod. Looking like a large water woodlouse, the isopod is an It's not looking like a large water woodlouse. It literally is a large water woodlouse. They're directly related. 
They don't just look like each other, they're related. They're like modern day aquatic dinosaurs. Many species of isopods live no, on I, land. No, I'd say modern day aquatic dinosaurs would be like crocodiles, not isopods. And in sea. The maximum size of isopods are around two inches. The giant isopod species have been known to reach 14 inches in length though. 14? That sounds so low. Wait, I thought they got way bigger than that. Is it really 14 inches? Oh my god. 14? Individual claimed to be around 30 inches. The largest confirmed is 20. Okay. The largest confirmed is 20. So closer to two feet. Well, not usually dangerous to people. They aren't something to be... Not usually? Not ever. When has an isopod even scratched a person? Saying they're not usually dangerous to people is such a blatant lie. I mean, I guess, yeah, you, zero, zero times is not usually, but Jesus. Take them lightly. They have dozens of sharp claws on their underside. They also have four jaws to aid in breaking down prey. If he they're also pill bugs in the deep sea. Come Ooh, on, man. Eh. If you do come across one, probably best not to pet it. Not when would you ever come across one? Unless you want to get nipped. I can tell you with first-hand experience that I picked up a shitload of roly-polies as a kid. I built a roly-poly colony when I was a kid in my backyard by lifting rocks and picking them up. It's not that big of a deal. They hold enough venom to kick the bucket of cats and dogs. If you see your <laughs> pet playing with a Gila monster, then get them away as fast as you can. All right, if I ever see my dog and or cat playing with a Gila monster, Gila monster, I'll make sure. Yeah, if Lucy ever goes near a, a wild Gila monster, I'll make sure to get her out of there because she can kick the bucket of cats and dogs. I don't even... Aww, you, you, oh, come on. Look at the face he's making. How are you going to call him a monster? That is a cute fucking face right there. How is it pronounced correctly? Gila monster. Velvet ant. You know what? I'm on board. I hate wasps. The stinger is almost these scarily nicknamed insects can be found in Eastern America. They're three quarters of an inch long. Eastern America? The size whoa, whoa, whoa. No. No. Usually he says some shit like Africa or South America or Australia. He did not just say Eastern America. No, the fuck they aren't. Probably it looks like one of the uh, the woolly caterpillars that tell you about whether it's going to, how long the winter is going to last. Did you guys do that when you were kids? It's like the woolly caterpillar. It's, I really don't know what it's called. Yeah, yeah, the Isabella Tiger Moth's caterpillar. You would f go in your backyard and find one of these. And no, 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 it's not a ground. It's not the groundhog thing. You would find one of these, and depending on how thick their middle stripe is, would tell you how long the winter is going to be. So a thinner stripe is a shorter winter. So this would be like a very short winter, and then like this would be like a long winter. I used to do this all the time. They're very cute. Fire ant. Unlike the velvet ant, the fire ant yeah, is fuck actually fire ants. An ant. They get their name for two <laughs> Fair reasons. The is there any ant. truth to that at all? I doubt it. I doubt that the variation between them has anything to do with the weather, upcoming weather. I would assume it's probably just normal genetic variation and they're born with a certain, you know, length, middle section, and that just is how it is for their life. Um in the same way that the groundhog's shadow it doesn't mean anything, but it's still kind of cool. Except God, I hate ears, ants. They use their mandibles to grip onto their victim. I used to love ants as a kid. I used to, like, pick them up and play with them, and I wanted an ant colony. And then one time I picked up this little black ant, and he bit my finger, and I've hated ants since. <laughs> That one ant ruined it for everybody. Crocodiles. While fire ants are small, this creature is, this is the number anything one but. most dangerous example, creature alive today. Crocodiles can reach a mass I, I will not stand for crocodile slander. I love crocodiles and alligators. Of length of Except that one in South America or Africa or whatever it is where his snout's really long. That dude's fucking weird. But the rest of crocodiles and alligators, they're they're cool. Gariel? Is that what it is? Gariel? Yeah, this thing. This thing can go extinct. I don't care. What the fuck? What, what, what did evolution do to you? You poor child. What the fuck is this? You can go extinct. But all the rest of the crocodiles and alligators, they're cool. Once again, I didn't even look at this image and I look back and some guy's got his finger out and his hand in the crocodile's mouth. I, I okay. I was found to have a jaw strength of a staggering 16. Was he just sticking his hand down? The saltwater crocodile was found to have a jaw strength of a staggering. Stop. Due to their ability to hide, an estimated 1,000 people around the world are consumed by crocodiles every year. <laughs> really? They found in five continents around the world. Jesus. As a result, yeah, that's fair, maybe. And that. I mean, I don't like fear-mongering them, but you should certainly be afraid of crocodiles, it's fair.